Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. So I have in front of me my Jane journal, and this is a jelly print that I pulled with the Jane Davenport jelly plate from Jelly Arts. Um, using her, using Jane's um, acrylics, and I believe these bloody bloppy blues are incredible inks. So today, I'm gonna try something a little different. Will it work? We don't know, but let's give it a try. I thought I would, you know, print out my face um, in just black and white. So I can do this and hopefully use my pinata inks to draw over it and be able to transfer it. Will it work? We're hoping. If it doesn't, boo hoo. <laughs> so, I will start with purple. I chose purple, well, is it? Passion Purple, Baja Blue, and Montilla Black, just because the background is super bright and colorful, plus blue and orange are complements. There's yellows in there and yellow and purples are complements. So we'll see how that works out. Ooh, it's a little stiff. That's what she said. All right, so basically I'm just going to blob this on and... Uh, I mean, it's a little weird because I can't quite, like the jelly print makes it so it's not directly over. So it's going to be, we'll say a, a Kimball likeness. Right. That sounds good. And um, yeah, I think I'll take the purple through here. It's so weird because I can't get right above it because I don't want to block the camera view. So... You're probably seeing me draw it way off. I hope not. I hope it's somewhat lined up. And again, I guess I won't be too upset if it doesn't quite turn out the way I want because it's all just fun. And I'm just gonna kind of shmurt down and make a pattern since I don't actually have an ending to my, my uh, printout. Just sort of floating head. All right, let me just put like a little bit of purple in here. All right, rinse that out, and we'll switch to blues maybe. The inks are not easy to rinse out, probably because they're alcohol and they just kind of ignore water. But whatevs. Don't know, but I love them. All right, so just gonna smear some blue up into that. Pretend like I am creating a little bit of a hairline. Ooh, getting, getting quite the mix there. All right. Cause I, aw. This is so weird drawing like a quarter of an inch above the paper. Let's hope it works out, yeah? If not, unless I learned I kind of did a whoopsie there. But it's all right. I guess it's always all right. other reflective bit of glasses over there. Don't know if that's really going to show up. This is really easy to do if you have Photoshop or really any photo editing software. But in Photoshop if you go to image adjust in the scrolly bar top thing, when you go to threshold, it takes out the color and it takes out any grays and makes your image purely black and white. But if you wanted to do cutouts, then you could do that and have like multiple, like it shows different gradients, so you could do multiple colors and make your piece look a little more 3D. Do some rendering. 
I'm just too lazy. Slash, don't know if it's gonna work, so I didn't wanna invest too much. But if it does work, then maybe in the future I'll do some more. But I really like the like stained glass look that this has on the jelly plate. Did I color it in there? It's getting so light I can't tell. All right, let's bring in, or maybe I should just do this black or like dark. Why not, yeah? I'm just kind of shimmy Joe Jimmy it in. All right, and then we'll just do some black around the edges. Scrub, 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 scrub. Yeah, the inks never really want to rinse out of the brush. I guess it doesn't really matter because it still works. Can't wait to pull the background away and just see how awful this really looks. <laughs> Or how cool, we're not sure yet. I'm basically just kind of creating a border with the black. Something a little more interesting than just the end. I want to make it look like, you know, it was intentional. Like I know what I'm doing. I'm not like, I'm just doing this little design just because I want to. There's no real reason. Oh, well, screwed up that. <laughs> Who needs a highlight? I can always go back in with a white paint pen. Got a little carried away. I was just so excited. All right. So maybe I'm done. I'm going to poke my head in real quick. Ooh. That looks weird. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry. Scrub this off as much as I can. Probably wash it with soap and water in the bathroom because it's still weird. All right, I'm gonna pause here just to dry and I'll uh, be back in a sec. All right, I'm back and uh, fingers crossed that this is gonna work out. Um, first, I'm gonna remove this paper from underneath. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. We're hoping we get something like this when we're done. Um, I find that using the matte medium from Jane Davenport has worked really well for me, uh, transferring inks off of the jelly plate. I've tried using paints and matte medium, and or not matte medium, um, gesso, and it like didn't transfer as well as I would have liked. Of course, now this time that I've talked up the matte medium, it probably just suck, but whatever. I'm gonna try it. And hopefully the markers don't smear. Just gonna put a lot on. Give it a go and see what happens. All right, we're gonna just kind of press this down. Let that just kind of bake for a bit. We're hoping it turns out. Put the lid back on my matte medium. Take a sip of my coffee. 
Mm. That is refreshing. It's not really a Starbucks. It's just in a Starbucks cup. All right, rub this down. Fingers crossed. We're hoping. We're praying. All right, let's take a peek. I think we're okay to lift it off. I'm just so nervous. I want it to work out. <laughs> All right. You guys with me? We're going to do this. Let's do it together. Ooh, the stress. Okay. I'm just going to just gonna do it. I've never actually pulled a print on top of another print. So this is a first for me. And I am pretty stinking happy with that. Whenever I do it just on plain paper, it comes off incredibly clean. So, uh, yay! Just gonna dry it a little bit. Very important. I don't even think I wanna do anything else to it. So there you have it. Whee! Um, you could go over top with some like little white paint pen and do highlights in the eyes and really make it dramatic. But uh, I'm really digging this actually, so I'm gonna call it good. So I guess it turned out to be somewhat of a short video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you try this technique and share because it was pretty exciting. I mean, I'm excited. I really like how it turned out. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this week. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next week with something new. I don't know what it's going to be. So, you know, just check in and find out, and we'll all be surprised. All right, bye, you guys. Thanks for checking in.